Hi everyone, so I'm back. <laughs> um, I have some exciting news. So as I was working on my, um, as I was working on my book, um, I had no idea. I seriously had no idea, okay? God, um, as I was finishing up a section of the book, all of a sudden he says, create a website. And I was like, what? You've never led me like that before. And he's like, it's time. It's time. It's time. And so um, I'm actually in the middle right now of creating content for the website. God said it would be different in April. Things are changing fast. I didn't know when I woke up this morning that I'd be telling you all that I am creating a website. Now he wants me to take the time to really focus on the messaging and I'm going to give you a preview so far this is what I've created now in this particular website I will be uploading my memoir now if you remember I had mentioned that God had had me learn had so when I was working for Prudential, the company where I was making really good money, I was given opportunities to learn skills that I didn't have before. And one of those things that I got to learn was how to edit uh, a publishing. So literally I had to research how to put content together, how to um, if you're going to use someone else's information, how to cite it, all that. Because this content is all God's, and he's, no one else has gotten it but me, I don't have to cite my own work. But I will be, this, this particular area of the website, I will have three um, ways of um, three three ways of of participating in the in the in the content, um, and some of the messaging. So God had me pair uh, pair with AI, and I put in just a simple um, thing that I wanted to show. And I'm hang on a second. Let me let me go back to the beginning. So the very first thing that I had to do was create a um, create a a um, what did they call it? Uh, give me a second. So I'm trying to go back to where it began giving me Okay, here we are. So, basically, I put in the information that, and it said, don't worry about it being too vague or too short, because that is how we're going to begin creating words for your website. And so I put in Alpha and Omega, I am the first and the last. And then it says, to embark on a divine journey. So it gave me different, um, it gave me different options that I could do. So I put something to the effect of 
the experience of the divine journey of discovering what it truly means to walk in faith. It was something like that. And what it created, what it created, the messaging is just, it's God. So it says, embracing the essence of Alpha and Omega, experience the divine journey of discovering what it truly means to walk in faith. And the messaging that has gone around it is also, you know, experience profound revelations, um, discover the divine path, unveil the mysteries, embark on an epic journey, embark on a divine journey with Alpha and Omega, and even some of the, the other information. Because, of course, I am eventually going to add items to this particular um, so I'm still learning I've never created a website before and God had me go into this um, place and create a website for free um, now there is a subscription. After 14 days, I will have to pay a subscription to continue having um, this access. But I don't know what's going to happen. 14 days is a long time. <laughs> I know, 14 days doesn't seem like a, a long time. But it's a long time. But it's not a long time. So uh, I'll keep you updated. Uh, so look in the near future, either within 14 days or at 14 days, which 14 days puts it out to April 15th, 415, April 15th, look for, look for some type of communication from me on the community page or in video providing you instructions on how to get to the website. I will provide the links on the YouTube videos. Um, going that once I have the, the, the website page uh, address right now the address that I have is a generic address so it's not it's not um, it's not ready and so I'm still continuing to create the content and what I'm going to be adding um, as I'm talking God is revealing like there's going to be a section for dreams interpretations and guiding people on how to interpret their own dreams using God as the, the basis. So a lot of our understanding about our dreams is misguided because we're not looking at it through God's eyes. And sometimes we think it's evil or we think it's someone with witchcraft that is causing us to have these dreams when in reality it is our Lord trying to give us understanding by using the people in our past who have behaved a certain way. So it could be that the individual that is in your life is having certain behaviors that is similar to the person that was in your life before. So God is trying to enlighten you and help you identify the behaviors of the past that he wants you to not get involved with anymore. And this is also where I'm going to provide my apothecary videos and so I don't know if YouTube is going to go away or if it's going to continue I don't know it's changing I, I mentioned that we were going to be doing lives and we are I don't know if it's lives on YouTube or if it's lives on Zoom um, I don't know because I know God wants us to do breakout sessions and he wants us to be able to have meetings in a group to be able to um, connect with each other differently you know because certain messages won't be for everyone they'll be for certain people and then other messages will be from be de delivered through other messengers so he wants us to be a community within a community within a community and he wants us all to understand how coming together is how he's going to present himself among us and so I had no idea <laughs> Like, there are so many things that God is guiding me to do that all of a sudden, it's coming together. Like, He's been giving me pieces here, pieces there. I'm also going to be 
uh, learning how to grow seeds, like how to how to how to go about purchasing seeds that are non-germinated, that are natural based, that are created based on his way of having life create. So these are going to be seeds that have never been touched by chemical engineering. These are going to be seeds that he has cultivated by his hand and ensuring that the way he intended for life to be is intent is actually how it comes about so there will be sections in my website that will include purchasing seeds and how to and there will be videos on how to germinate those seeds because I learned all of this um, when I was uh, that was the purpose of my roommate uh, he was a prepper. He was one of those guys that wanted to ensure that his existence continued and the fa and his family's existence continued even after the breakdown of the government, the breakdown of society, the breakdown of all the things that he felt were going to contribute to, um, you know, the end of, of life as we know it. And so he had... Um, set up himself with flour and rice and he had buckets like five gallon buckets like hundreds of buckets i mean this when i tell you moving from one place to another with this man was a, a pain in the ass because he had so much stuff that was prepping stuff he had ammo he had guns he had the list goes on and on he had manuals he had instructions on how to do things when there's no electricity. He had bought systems to have solar power. Those are all things that I learned because of being in, the, in connection with this man. God will use all things for your good. And so because I was obedient and I listened to God and I allowed myself to be partners with this man, and there was a time God told me, Call him at your husband. And I'm like, but he's not my husband. We're not sleeping together. And he goes, and I said, I know. It was one night in discretion. I'm sorry. But he wasn't leading me to say that this man wasn't my husband. He was my husband, even though we weren't having relations. Because that is the, that is the, um, in the moment, that is the, the path that I was, that, that was being guided. And so, I learned a lot through that man and I learned a lot about how to cultivate seeds and how to germinate seeds with very little water with very little light and so and so I learned a lot I learned how to grow potatoes in a gallon in a five bucket gallon and I did they did grow and I did harvest them and we did eat them they weren't as big as the potatoes that you see in the store, but those are all, uh, you know, chemically enhanced, and they're all, um, they've been germinated with other, other seeds to give them better quality um, living. Uh, and so it, it's it, it's in order to make the the plant produce bigger products, bigger potatoes, bigger. So our potatoes were you know, maybe that big, about as big as my eyeball. Um, but, you know, there were some that got a little bit bigger. And if you get, you know, out of one plant, you can get 15 to 20 potatoes, depending on the size of the bucket, depending on the amount of room that the potatoes are given to be able to grow. And so God showed me how to do that. God led me to learn how to do all of that. He also, when we got the land, God led me to learn how to because I come from a family of farmers and so the the woman who raised me her family were farmers they were cultivators they were harvesters so I learned how to make the rows for the food and how to plant the seeds so that they would have the best ability of growing um, he also taught me how to raise chickens because I had chickens for a while there too. I raised them from, you know, they were maybe um, six, 
three to six weeks old so they were little tiny little chicks and I raised them to be um, you know uh, teenagers basically and I had my favorite her name was red and she was the smartest of them all and so God showed me how to raise livestock and so now once I have my home and once I have he is also leading me to buy land <sighs> that's a that's a lot of things that are coming my way and there all of a sudden is movement in land purchases like there are companies that are sending me emails saying buy this land buy that land and I know that when it's the right land for the right amount so we ended up purchasing five acres of land for ten thousand dollars and it was owner financed so we were paying literally fifty dollars a month to own land and we could use it anytime we wanted we could live on it we could do whatever we wanted um, as long as we kept paying the payment and so now that time has passed God is now bringing all that back to me and I'm starting to go oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness because God is dropping the pieces into place so that I will have land and in that land I will have a farm and I will have crops and I will have all the things that I've I'm going to need in order to teach the rest of you how to do the things that I've learned how to do um, and you know and in the, and in all of that I'm gonna learn how to do pottery um, I know how to work with clay because I've worked with clay before but he's actually going to have me create pottery like spinning the wheel and I'm going to shape it and I'm going to create it with my hands he's been showing me Potter's son the, uh, the, the Potter's son the pe or the peddler's son or something like that and I remember that there is a scripture about the Potter's son and allowing the, 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 the potter to mold the clay so this is all coming this I mean this isn't going to be like long way off um, the memoir is in its current stage, it is a total of 62 pages, and it is, or no, I'm sorry, it's 134 pages. Um, God is going to allow me to finish it and go to, I believe, 250 pages, so I've got 116 pages to go. Um, and there's still a lot more information that I'm going to have to provide and like you said this is just the first of three books the first of three books um, because this is mainly about the time from the time I was born until the time I got married and then the time I got married to the time I got divorced is going to be another chapter and by then my life will have changed so much that I will then begin the final chapter, the chapter of the blessings. And so, and even though it's the final book, I should say, not the final chapter, the final book of the blessings. And I don't know how it's going to change after that. I know I've got these three books that I've got to write. Um, but I also have a family that I'm going to have to raise. I also have, uh, you know, guide, uh, got a guide. Um, I also have people that I have to guide and I have to go and talk to and I have to provide God's words. And so it's going to be busy. And so that's why right now I don't care if the house is dirty. I don't care if the dishes don't get done for a few days. God is saying, take this time to rest because once you start moving, there is no time to stop. You are going to move, move, move from one thing to the next to the next. And I am going to look back on this time and wonder why I didn't rest as much. In fact, that is something Sunray, 
um, who's another prophet that I watch and I listen to. And the reason that I've been, God has had me watch her is, yes, he gives me prophetic confirmation through her, but also he, he had her create a website. And so he has me with these people who have created the things that he is going to lead me into, not because I'm going to copy what they're doing, but because he's showing me I've done this before. I can do it again, but I'm going to do it different with you. So it's going to be different in the sense of the content is going to be different, the purpose is going to be different, the direction is going to be different because he wants this particular chapter, um, this particular season to be about really getting his disciples to the level they need to be. By the time that we are finished with this next season, the 13 of us are going to be refined and ready to stand with our Lord Jesus and follow his lead into the, into the future. How long this is going to take, I don't know. Um, God is giving a lot of prophecies and a lot of changes are coming to the world not just by his hand by the but by also the spiritual beings that are following lucifer because lucifer has to ensure that he tries to stay ahead of god but god's already gotten to the end and he knows that it's he knows it's all over he knows how to get there and it doesn't matter how lucifer changes his direction or his tactics it always ends the same checkmate God has shown me that so many times. Checkmate, checkmate, checkmate. No matter which angle, no matter which way Lucifer turns, it's always going to end in the same. Checkmate. The interesting part, and I thank you, Father, for allowing me to share this part. So I found out two days ago from my son, Jared, that he was offered the position at Ace Hardware. God has called me his ace in the hand. And I was like, does that mean I'm going to work at Ace? No. He was telling me my son was going to work at Ace. Now, my son has an issue. He doesn't have his birth certificate because, like me, he didn't follow God's instructions. And now his birth certificate is in the wind. I am not allowed to help him as much as I want to he reached out to me and said mom I have a problem I need my birth certificate I I don't know how I'm gonna get it and I said well what you need to do is you need to reach out to your dad and ask him to go to the registrar's office and have him get you a copy of your birth certificate as your parents, we don't need you to be present for us to get your birth certificate. And then he can send it to you. This is a test for his dad to see if he has changed the way he operates from the past. In the past, he would have told his son, no, you should have taken care of the ones that you, you had in your possession because I got him three. I did. I got three birth certificates. One was for him and I was supposed to keep the other two and he lost one so I gave him another one and then his birth certificate my birth certificate and my original birth certificate from when I was born were in the back of the truck when it was taken away and when I was given the opportunity to go through the truck and get things I in my head, I had put that I had it in my other bags, which were in the room, and they were not. It was actually in the suitcases that were in the back of the truck. And had I thought about that in the moment, I would have gotten them out. But lesson learned. When God tells you to do something, you get it done right then. You don't wait. Okay, so, um, oh, I did want to make a correction on the video before that I recorded and I put out, um, I mentioned that when uh, I wasn't eating, it was in March, and God brought me back to that, and he had me t 
type it out. And I'm like, wait a minute, no, it wasn't. Because school ended in May, so it couldn't have been June. So I had to think back, okay, oh, it was cold. It was like November time frame. So it was from November to either March, the end of March, beginning of April, when the, when the teacher realized that I wasn't eating. And in between, there was an, a, a winter break. So back then, we got three weeks off for school. And in those three weeks, I didn't eat at all at home. I actually slept through the entire three weeks of vacation because I didn't want to deal with her. I didn't want to deal with her, with the woman who raised me. I didn't want to deal with her attitude. I didn't want to deal with her behavior. And I don't remember what happened in those three weeks, but something happened. And because of that, she left me alone. She ended up having to leave the house to go either help her mom with something. And so she was gone every day. So be on the lookout for the content for the for the memoir as God is going to lead me to post it in the website. Um, remember I told you? He wants 100% of the proceeds to come to me. So there's not going to be... Uh, and the way it's going to work, it's going to be a donation-based um, cost. So there's not going to be a dollar associated with the book, but there's going to be a minimum request donation. And in order for you to receive the book, you have to donate that dollar amount. What that dollar amount is, I don't know yet. God hasn't put a price on it yet. So I have to wait for him to guide me to see how much he wants me to request for the donation. The rest of the website, there will be content that is going to be um, donation-based, but the majority of the website is going to be free. Um, you're going to be able to listen to words. You're going to be able to have discussions in the group within the website. There is going to be Zoom links where there's going to be classroom format and we're going to sit down as a group and we're going to discuss the whatever God is wanting us to discuss. So the forum is going to be open, it's going to be an open dialogue where each of us is going to be able to provide whatever God is putting in our hearts to provide in that moment. And then the rest of us, depending on how we're being guided by God, we're going to be responding to whatever that is that so that we can all understand the, the, the next level that God is taking us to. And it's not going to be a closed forum. Anyone will be able to participate. But don't expect that you're, not going, that you're going to be able to come in and provide whatever contradictory content to what the Word of God is and not be blessed by God in that moment for us to come again, not to come against you, but to come against the spirits that are over you and to, for God to come in and deliver you in that moment. Okay, so be on the lookout. Um, I, I hope to have it April 1st and I've already got the majority of that website completed um, and now God is just going to have me fine tune it. So I will be working on it in the evenings um, on my days off and whenever else I have time to do it um, again God said this is this is the new thing that we're going to be doing so I can't wait for you to, to walk with me on this journey and to see the things that God is doing in my life so that it strengthens your faith and your resolve to follow God in the name of my Lord Jesus God bless you amen <music>